So he's, we're explaining here the castle of the Imchagenu. That on Rosh Hashanah, Debish to withdraw as it were, from Erev Rosh Hashanah, from creation. And the whole Aveda is to elicit the Er Chadosh, the new light. So the Maim is explaining that Echot is the manifestation of Hashem in creation that carries the truth of Eindad Mugadai, notwithstanding creation's inherent limitation. So this is the whole explanation of the, this Mimut, this intermediary expression of Hashem, intermediary between his absolute exclusivity beyond creation, and below that void, creation's uh, starting point, which is the self. So in between is Echad. So Echad is the Mimutza. So he said that what is it? It's Chachmas Dimbo. It's the level of Chachmas Dimbo, the hidden level, not manifested the Chachmas Batsilus, but Chachmas Dimbo above. What's the parallel to understand what's Chachmas Dimbo? So he explained yesterday that Chachmas Dimbo, what is it? It is the Koyacha Maskil. The Koyacha Maskil is the intermediary between what? Between the essence of the soul and the manifested, uh, the manifest intellectual process where the world of ideas exists, etc. In between is the Koyacha Maskil. It is the, per the perfect analogy because, in fact, we evolve. And a reflection of the divine it's not that it just happens to be the perfect analogy it is the analogy because we are a reflection of Hashem it's the analogy because on the one hand it is related to Seichel but not bound by a particular idea at all and he said that's the name of Aleph the first letter of the word Echad because the word Aleph means the root of it so Aleph goes on Chach Mastima, on this very level that we are identifying as the Mamut, as the intermediary. Because Aleph makes, in the Hebrew grammar, makes future. Put that in, the word, in front of a word, it makes it future tense. As in the oft quoted Bosak in Eiv. Excuse me a second. Chaim, you can enjoy your coffee now without worrying. Um, as in the oft quoted Pasuk in the youth, Alef Chachachma, Alef Chabina. Now, so this brings that Pasuk, I should point out for two reasons. First of all, it means I'll teach the opinion of, of Chachma. I'll teach you. Upan comes from that word. Alef Chachachma, I'll teach you Chachma. So, number one is the meaning of, of Alef goes in the meaning of, of Chachma teaching. But furthermore, the point you're saying here is something else. Here he's saying that it's the future tense. The Koyach HaMaskil is no Chochmah there, but the Koyach HaMaskil produces Chochmah. It comes from there, the future, at a lower level. So, all to say, again, that the Indian of Chochmah Stimba, that is the level the Aleph that Hashem withdraws to its source, Erev Rosh Hashanah, and it's this we have to be Mamshech. We got some more detail, and he says that Chochma Gluya manifested Chochma from Chochma Stimbo, with the parallel again is the Koyach HaMaskil. The Koyach HaMaskil again is looking at the Nefesh and seeing an intellectual being, that's what you see of what kind, of what type, absolutely none is indicated. A purely intellectual being. So, now he says that Chachma Kliyaf and Chachma Stimbo, which I just added in parenthesis, the parallels, the Kaycha Maskil, he says it comes only about Ha'odot, Ha'odot. That is the Cyrus, 
this is relevant later in the, in the mind, the next page, that is the physical, the physical body. The physical body is a reflection of the nefesh, the nefesh is a reflection of other course. So there's these parallels on these three levels. So the side is on the head, as uh, uh, represent, manifested, produced seichel. Well, different hairs and different ideas and different. Uh, Mistama, I don't know, but Mistama and the different parts of the head where the hair grows, the different corresponding to the different aspects of seichel. Different components within the world of intellect, of which there are many. So then you have the Edson Gulgoilis, you have the skull that interposes between the the Chachmas uh, Dimon, the Edson brain, to the Sidus, which represent the manifested intellectual idea. So it's only Ahora, the merest reflection. So Chachmas Dimon. Pasha Begashmis means the brain that's hidden. It's hidden in the skull. That quite physically is the source of all intellectual process. Looking at a physical brain, before the I guess it's possible on the theory to look at a brain and one day, I mean, it's possible today, I mean, in theory, to look at a brain and see you know, the ideas there, to extract the ideas by hooking up the brain to some incredible instrument. I don't know if that's possible today, but actually in theory. But here we mean, so here we mean that the Edson brain before the person's even thought, as it were. So there's a brain that's capable of producing ideas. Nothing produced here, the raw Edson brain. So there's levels within the brain itself. It's the brain, the brain stem, etc. Pasha Begashvi is all reflective of these in Yoni. Stam of the brain stem, that's the Kaycha Yuli or Atzmi, which is even higher than the Kaycha Masko. Kaycha Masko is the brain proper, but the brain, the stem of the brain, which it's called, right? The back, the bottom, uh, the real core essence of the brain is removed even from the brain function itself. That's the Kaycha Yuli or Atzmi, which is which is where they said this right now. That's where the Chochmas Timur recedes to. The Kerech HaMaskal, everything is withdrawn. That's the Kerech HaShel Yud to the, to the source, the Seichel HaYuli, or Atzmi, and it's from there we Mamshech. Atzmi Seinsof. Okay, so just, I'm running ahead a little bit. So I'm following the flow of the Maimur. So I hope we get the geography here. Are we? Let's repeat it again. That, that stuff from the bottom up is manifested seichel, an idea. The manifested seichel comes from the kriyach, hamaskar, which is not bound to any particular idea. It's the potential for it, for an intellectual process, for, for understanding. And in between the kriyach hamaskar, and, the, and a particular idea, it's, the particular idea is only a ha'od at ha'od. A particular idea is merely a reflection of a reflection of the capability of the Kaycha Maska that can produce ideas endlessly, virtually on endless subjects, deeper and deeper. A particular idea is a ha'od at ha'od, a particular subject, a particular idea. And it's the, 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 the etzim gulgoyles, it's the skull physically, that is that, that is the timtsum between the Kecha masculine, a particular idea. The particular idea is represented physically in the body by the hair, the cyrus, that, that produce post-skull, tzimtzum. The brain being, for our purposes here, the Kecha masculine. So he says that that's the, that is the Aleph, because the Aleph has these three components. So there's the upper component, which is, which is, there's a Yud, and then there's a Kreitz Elyon. It's like, a, it, it, it's a, he says, what's the Kreitz Elyon? He says later, so we'll say, tell you now. The Kreitz Elyon is point, this is pointing to, like it's an arrow. It's pointing to the source of Chach Mestimba, of the Kreich HaMaskal, which he calls the Kreich HaSeich which we're suggesting maybe the brain stem itself, 
the Gashmis, the, the, the Gashmis to get parallel again, Guf, Nefesh, and Elikus all parallel each other. One divorce and the other, the Nefesh of Elikus and the, and the Guf also from Elikus, in the image of God. We're made, formed, made in the image of God. So the Kites of the Yud, the Kites of the Yud, he says, is but it, it, it points to the to the its source, the Seicha Yulio Atzmi. It's in the little Nakuda. It's from there that the Chachmas Dima manifests. So the Chachmas Dima would be the Kaycha Mask would be the actual body of that Yud, the top component of the Aleph, the body of its Kaycha Mask. The Kaitz is pointing to the Seicha Yulio Atzmi. And that's where everything recedes to. So what is the line? The line is already, so, the, so, the, the, so in totality, the top component of the Aleph is the Kreich HaMaskel. You just identify the Kreutz, where the Kreich HaMaskel comes, the Kreich HaYulio Atzmi. And that's the whole point. That's where all, everything goes back to its source, to its essential source. Then there's the line, that's the process of Amshacha, that we said before, there's the Tzimtzum, the line, in order to produce the actual manifested Seichel, which is the bottom Yud. The bottom Yud is the manifested Seichel. So the Aleph is the Memutza. It embraces the Elgin and the Tachtan. Then he said, then he added, on a lower model, on a lower model, the Aleph says the following. The whole Aleph is talking about manifested Chachma. So the Kaitzer Elyon is the source. Before he said it's the Kecha Yuli Atzmi, but now in a, in, a, in a lower model, so the Kaitzer Elyon is the place where the side has come. And the side itself is the manifested, the side itself is the manifested uh, Seicha. Is the Mshach of the side, and the Kaitsa Tachtan is the Chachma Gluya with all of the spheres that come with it, the whole kit and caboodle of, of a whole package of manifestations that then follow. So, the starting point in the lower model is the starting point, the Kaits, that is the Kaitsa Mask. As before, the starting point was the was the was the uh, Etzem. What's it? The Etzim, what do you call it? Seichala Yulio Atzim. At any rate, get the general idea, we understand that the Aleph, the word Echel in general, but starting with the word Aleph, is the bridge between the absolute exclusivity of a Likus where there is creation doesn't exist, pre creation, and still true for God inexplicably, post-creation, but inexplicably. But Echad is explicable in the sense that Echad bring, acknowledges there is a creation, and Echad declares, Yehudi Lo, that creation is totally nullified, no independence, and it brings that truth to, all the way down to creation. So that even the world of void, which is Bia, which its starting point is at best self, and then the acknowledgement that is an Abish terminate. Bria, in the world of Bria, clearly there's no delusion that we that God there's a creator. There's no delusion that there's a creator. Bria feels that consciously. But there is a creator, starts with self. I see there's a creator. Uh-huh. Law, the starting point is creator, Abishta, therefore creation. Bia is creation and acknowledge creator. So the big Hiddish is. That even beyond, even as locked down here in the world of the inescapable, I think, therefore I am. I cannot escape that starting point of consciousness, which means yeshes. Even in the world of yeshes, that the yesh should know and therefore ultimately experience by the grace of God the truth of Yehud Right? Including now, Isvav.
Are you with me? Or... So the Rosh Hashanah is Bakese. Bakese, so the Shaila was. The real, remember, that just to get clear. The, the simple Pshat, the word Kese means appointed time. Now that should be spelt with an Aleph. Why is it spelt with a He? Because spelt with a He means covered. Alluding to the fact that Rosh Hashanah, the moon is covered. Deeper, what's covered? The word we usually use, Kesser with an Aleph. It's the, and what's the letter that's covered is the Aleph. So this is, that's what Hashem withdraws. Whole desire, there should be a creation. The creation should know me. That's what Echad is. It's the whole Kavon of David, but So this is withdrawn. And it's withdrawn in order that we should be mamshich, they should desire for creation, for relationship with us in a deeper way, and it has to be through Tkiyah Shoifa. Why through Tkiyah Shoifa? Because it has to come down into Maisa. Then he added the marshal here, the marshal of the, of, the, of the talking bird that draws the attention of the king. Nothing impresses him. What impresses him is something fundamentally novel. Not riches and wealth, and not a, not not, uh, not anything a person could a person could say, because he's totally uh, beyond that. So, because it's a, something novel, so this reaches and stirs the essence of the king. So, the Abish just sees, in other words, to put this in other words. Okay, he says like before I say my word, the words of the Maimir in translation. In order to reach high the Nishtalshalus and to be pale from there, the whole rebuilding of Ishtalshalus can't be through Chochmah, through Midas, because that's part of Ishtalshalus. Not even Psukim Malchias. Not even the Psukim. It's got to be through Maisa. Now, the question that needs to be understood, this for me is, we would expect that if the, and it says that you said this, that in order to be Mam Sheikh Devishta's desire, so what's the Avaida that's required? The parallel Avaida, that we should expre express our tightening and our desire and express. Total devotion to the very core of our being. That coming from us, that's going to elicit that the same divine response. What do you need the shoifer for? The chore comes out just something good. It's got to come down all the way down in my superpower. But then why do we need this marshal that tzipper and matabelis? I'm not clear, frankly. Why do we need the marshal? What is it adding the chiddush of the of the tzibur? What's it got to do with this? The point is with the mamshich from the pnimius atainug. So what's going to mamshich that your pnimius atainug, your parallel, and that's our sp spoken chiddush. The shayfer is meloshet shipra maseichem tainug. Tzib explains it. I think we had it here. Perhaps, perhaps he wants to say. Perhaps he wants to say. Yeah. Sorry. About Tzipra and the Beres, he's trying to say what Maise is. Maise is like a Tzipra and the Beres. He says, in order to be the Melech, he says, not Chachma and not that, it's all Ishtal Shalas. Good. Because we, yeah, because we, within yourself. Tiny. He, he says in the, he says it in the Mimer because the king has more money. And has more everything. You're not gonna get, try to not hearing me. So they. So what's what is being ordered? That you have to go beyond your your seder You have you to want to, and you want you want the whole, want, whole mind is explaining. The whole mind is explaining. Where is this going back to? It's going to the to the seichel ayuli your atzmi. That's the parallel within the person. So from there has to be the devotion. The person devotes himself from the deepest tainug from the etzem nefesh. But that's the that's that's the, the parallel, the Mila. In fact, the no, is 
How was how was a year? This is so this is answer. How can we be ma'ayda the abishtas? Rots in the mlucha. What are we? We're nivra. Answer the neshamas and mushes and atzmos. And therefore, when you megalad etzim and the shamas, which is what the mime is speaking about here, the, <laughs> that's, that's what that's what that's what zichrenis is. The only end of zichrenis is zeicher abris. And what's a bris? A bris is two things that are one. Eden and abish that are one, and therefore able to meida. That's the whole kech and mlucha. Now, if you're going to tell me. You have to have this shoifer because the kavon is to bring it down the matter. Stay here. I said yesterday the heaven. So you have to bring it all the way down the matter because the kavon did it So you have to take a physical instrument. It isn't enough just beside the 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 avoid beside the nefesh that eat himself. It's not enough. His 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 abba abba his cry father on the deepest level. They call it prima the inner cry the lo yishtamba. It comes from that's in my nefesh. There has to be a maizah b'peil. I understand. But to say that the maizah, that the chiddush in the maizah b'peil, that that's the, the, the melech. No, what's made of the melech is the people of the arm. He translates people it in a way. The, the later are, on, in an avay The people he are says going that. to come to the king. And they're going to do some tricks. That's going to make it the, the melech. What makes it the Melech is what's made the Ratzin is the Bittal. We're devoted to you. We see ourselves in you. And that, the trick is entertainment. Thank you. Move on. But you should be their Melech. And you can be devoted to them. Comes from their total devotion to him. Not a trick of a tip of the He says that the, the void, in Avoida, it's Bittal and this Kafia. He translates it in Avoida. But in Maise, he says the Maise is not... He, uh, he he translates it later on. He says in an avoda, it's bittel and it's kafir. But I'm, but I'm asking that the avoda Rosh Hashanah is is tainu. It is not is kafir in Kabbalah's level, which is the ma'aseh. That's the that's the result of it in the end, which is also the chelus did it to the end of tainu. Um, he, he chooses to have but, a tainu. But the, the whole avoda Rosh Hashanah is 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 the made of the tainu the ma'aseh, which comes from the tainu of the yid. It's the whole beer, which is understood again. Tricks don't do it. Again, I'm asking that if the point is Bolda Schaefer to bring it down in Mice of the Pearl, I understand. It's going to be a physical act. The Dachtor is going to be manifested physically. I'm not discounting what you're saying either, but it doesn't, it hasn't, you haven't explained this fully. There is that void of Kabbalah soil. As I mentioned the other day, the, the Rebbe Asa, my Mitoch Shalem Gimel, Shoifer does not know Eir Tainu. It is no Eir Charoda. And the whole shape of it is Kabbalah soil. And it's a simple cry. Whatever. So he answers that it's the etzem of Tainu, which is high, the manifest in Tainu. And therefore, again, but that's a void of Nafshis. It comes back to the Eidrish. Correct. Yeah, that's what, so, so, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That will explain, and it's enough to explain why I need a, a physical shayf. But the, the tip of the better's component. I'm just, the only thing I can think of, instead I'm asking, not the mice component, understand? You have to have Kabbalah soil and mice. But that is the secret, that's the mushroom, that's the, the nimshah of the secret, the better. That even in the mice, the weekend, by doing, not even by doing it. Going so far as doing mice, you can be mumshef tainu, even though one thing has no relation to the other. The fact that mice can elicit tainu is a chiddush. So it's that chiddush that that is the mashal. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to say that it's like like the king is seeing that not only okay you're devoting yourselves to me and, and so on, but the smallest details of your life 
When does the Chiddush of Adab? not expect a bird to speak. Speaking, well, gets the king's attention, as it were. So the Ebesh is impressed, as it were, of Ayochel, that even the Dvarim Gashmim, the smallest things of our life, are also surrendering to you. So that's the full manifestation of true devotion. The full manifestation of true devotion is when it embraces every detail of the, the citizen, the person's life, even the most insignificant. Okay, so including the mind. So he says, I mean, he stresses that it's through kfia uh, and self restraint, the Kabbalah's oil, that that reaches etzem on the shoma. So that's Mam Sheikh the Eir Chadosh. L'chayre, again, there's not elaboration here, we need to bring to bear many sources. But L'chayre is saying that that reaches Etzim and Hashomer even deeper than the Aveda of complete Tainu Kishol Atzma. And the reason? Because Bittl, because Tainu is still self. And here the negation of self, so that's what, what's, what draws on the Etzim and Hashomer in the Kabbalah soil. So it's in that chiddush, quote unquote, of even the goof going along with this. Kabbalah's early Maise, so that draws, reveals Esam and Hashama and his Mamshech, the Yerchodesh from its ultimate source. So the Mami goes on to say, and this is the Nekud, the Vart of the Vidit Kerebe, that everything in Rosh Hashanah is the Avedi with the Etzem. Etzem and Hashama. And as I mentioned, even tshuva, the word of tshuva, Rosh Hashanah is not the same tshuva of Seresimei uh, tshuva. It's a completely different order of tshuva that comes from the Etzim Hashem. We explained, we addressed that when we talked about this the first time. Classic tshuva is dealing with the particulars of particular failures. The Etzim and tshuva is not a particular failure. failure. That it's the self where the self is is devoted to. I'm not giving my behavior over, giving me over. That's the truth of, of Rosh Hashanah. I'm not fixing uh, uh, performance, perfecting failed performance, but rather a new devotion period of the self. And that's the Bakshu Ponai, is Benecha Vaya Vakesh Ponai, the Ibishta says. So this, that's the whole Ishtalshalas and you from its very core. And that is, the interesting last words of this, of the second last paragraph, the Mshach of Tainag and Rotsen in all of Ishtalshalas. So the, the Tainag and Rotsen of Ishtalshalas is the next step. But the very utmost the etzim, the end of the day, is iskafi and kabbalah zayim. Deep even in the time. So it concludes, and that's Tika Bachar Dishayfa, Bakesh Deim Chageinu, that everything goes back to its source. Everything. The Yibish is Amshach, is our Avayda, and added in the brackets, it's a renewal of our Avayda, it's a renewal of his, whole kavan of the Bria, everything. Back to square one. And he added, although it's a little bit late now, because here we are, day five. Today, day five of Tishrei, tonight's of Tishrei. But he said that uh, in the last moment, the last moment of the previous year, one can be Mashlim Diavoid. What was the vote that you said, uh, Adam? We say Shmuel Nesra. Mincha Rosh Hashanah. We say Baruch Hashanah. Baruch Hashanah. Baruch Hashanah. So the yeah. So we still we still referring to the last minute as this year, meaning that we can still fix it. Okay. Now when I said it's a mitzvah, we can still fix it. So everything goes back to the to 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 higher even than Eis Aleph. 
which is the Memutza, to the very, very source. And that's the Kesa, that the Aleph is hidden. The Aleph is withdrawn. Completely. So we're going higher than the Aleph, we're going to the source of the Aleph. So what do you mean? The source of it all. In the Nefesh, the Kreich Hayuli Atzmi. That's the whole point of the Kesel Yem So and that new Amshach happens to Tkiyah Shoif and the Gashmis and the Maisa, with which we build Malchos. Again, through drawing, through drawing down Tainog and all of Ishtar Shalos. Here he brings the Tshoifer, the Shipra Maseichem. Shipra, make be- beautify your actions. Beauty is Tainog. Rosh Hashanah, this is all hidden. Even on Rosh Hashanah, even on Rosh Hashanah, the Amshach of Eibish is Tainog in creation is still embryonic. It's drawn down, it is drawn down, but still concealed. It is withdrawn altogether. So it is withdrawn, but the revelation happens. Sukkos, the Yom Chagenu, the illusion here, the simple pshat is referring to the same day. But Chag, we know, refers to Sukkos, and Yom means light, day, oy. So Sukkos and Shmirat Zedes is Chastayla. That's when that it's a whole evolution where this new connection is becomes more and more revealed, and more and more revealed to Shabbos Bereishis, a whole new creation, a whole new world is suffused with this new time of. And it's drawn down. That's how the Maimer ends. Okay. So based on Shem tomorrow, we will start the Maimer, which is a complete Hemshech from the get go. You see, the Maimer continues the Indian of Ais Aleph, the Indian of, of Kesse. Uh, it's the Maimer of. The mimer of Simchas Beis Shaiva that Yitov Shachafalov.